You guys ready? Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Megan with Believe in the Run. And today, Megan, what do we got? We have the Saucony Triumph 20. 20? That's three fingers, because that's a two, oh, I did two zero. Then... Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. Anyway, Megan, we're giving the first impression of this yes. shoe. Yes. And I thought you were gonna love this shoe because my first impression was pretty good. Yours isn't the same. Well, on paper, it seems pretty great. You've got 37 millimeters of foam, 27 millimeters of foam. What is that? 10 millimeter drop. All right. Like you've got a ton of delightful cushion underfoot, Power Run Plus, but. Yeah, Power Run Plus, not to be confused with Power Run PB. It looks like the PB. But it's not. But yeah, one's p -Bax base and this one's TPU based, I believe. Yeah, and it's, it's bendy and it feels good in my hand, but for whatever reason, when I was out on the run, it just felt firm and I didn't love it. I think it was your legs. I think you need to get back out there and try it again because this shoe is probably the closest shoe to me as the A6 Nova Blast 3, which I love. And when I was running this, I was like, oh wow, this has that kind of feel. Had a nice soft feeling from the foam, nice bounce back, energy return felt good to me. The upper fits well. I didn't have too much trouble. I did. You know, sake has been killing with the uppers. This one I did have to play with a little bit more to get the fit just right. Yeah, were you looking at Brandon losing his sandal? <laughs> lost his shoe. Yeah, lost his shoe. But overall, this lost a half an ounce from its predecessor, the 19. I didn't really love the 19, so I was surprised. I wasn't even gonna review this one. But then I was like, oh, there's enough changes. I should probably check it out. And boom, I love it. Yeah, I really gotta put another run in it. I did one run and it was after a race so my legs weren't feeling great um definitely need to try it on again i will say it's got a really nice plush upper so you've got a nicely padded tongue and collar here it fit true to size it looks great i happen to love this colorway um 160 bucks what do you think of this colorway that one not so much <laughs> all right so yeah the i don't know it's a i know people like blue shoes we're kind of like meh but i guess they sell a lot of blue shoes Anyway, a lot of people are gonna ask us what we think about this versus the Shift 3. Maybe that's why I threw up three fingers in the beginning. Ooh. Ooh, foreshadowing. But, I don't know, they don't seem to fit the same category. To me, I need to get more miles on it. I really love the Shift for what it was, which was a stable cruiser. I like the way it looked. This one, it has a little more, I feel like more bounce, more energy. I don't know, it's gonna be a tough call. Yeah. But stay tuned. So far, I give it a thumbs up. Megan, eh, we we'll try it yet. again. All right, are you gonna go long? You go long. I'll go long. All right. Oh, I thought I was gonna trip. Yeah. <laughs> My feet were not doing great. But yeah. If, do you see that? One handed grab, though, might have Robbie's thing. His job. Oh, and Megan even. Two gets for one. two. 